Hi, I'm Nate Raymond from Fish Tech Outfitters, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a dubbing loop. Dubbing loops work great for flies like on scuds and sow bugs, or on big flies like stoneflies and grasshoppers, or where we want a thin, sparse, transparent body like on a leech. In order to do a dubbing loop, we're going to need dubbing, and we're going to want a dubbing loop tool. To do a dubbing loop, pull down about six inches of thread and loop it back around so you have a three inch loop from your finger to the hook. Then you're going to wrap over the loop you just created in order to make it just a loop loose hanging in your wraps. Then you can get your thread kind of out of the way, hook on your dubbing loop tool. This will give you a space in order to pack it full of dubbing. So we're going to get what I like to call shingles of dubbing. Put them in near the bottom and slide them up towards the top. I'm going to keep it spaced out and sparse. Now I've got about, oh, three inches of dubbing and I'm going to begin to twist my tool and it's going to twist those fibers together and make a rope of dubbing. So you can see I've got a lot of dubbing and that allows us to just wrap with the tool. Then when I'm done, make sure and keep the twist in. Don't let go of the tool and just tie off the loop and cut out the whole rope. You can see that I've got a lot of bulk and a lot of bugginess, lots of guard hair sticking out of the fly. That's exactly what we want. If you have any questions on dubbing loops or fly tying or anything else, come on down to Fish Tech and we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line.